Santa's little workshop takes shape at Veep. Remember your big wheels. It brings back memories and creates new ones. I've gotten a lot of Christmas ideas, actually. But kids in need are the real reason behind their active service. Today we have a couple groups of volunteers coming in who are sorting our toys. Krista Phillips is with Veep's Children and Youth Services. Their annual toy drive serves about 5,000 kids, and this year was a success. I think we have had about, oh, what is it, 15 pallets of toys that have arrived so far this year, so we're a little bit ahead of the game from, from average. They had it all. There's another one of those dolls. Where did she put the dolls? From toys and board games to winter gear, and it's all thanks to the community. It's so nice to help families out during the holiday season. So many are struggling, and if we can keep that family tradition alive and the kids' spirit in their hearts, it's just, we're all better off as a community with that. Each toy handled with care. A lot of painting. And sorted by age in preparation for the shop opening on December 11th. <laughs> That's the unique thing about this drive. It's more of a shopping experience where parents can pick the toys for their kids. Veep sets up a nice opportunity for parents to go out and shop and bring it home um, and take ownership in it. I think it's, it's just a special time of the year and um, want families to be able to shop for themselves. I think that's just really great. Amanda Pernick and Corey Bromanchenko work at Gallagher Benefit Services and they were helping for a service project. For Jim McCassick, retirement means volunteering. It's kind of a kind of a natural thing to do really to make sure that kids have presents and that uh, that families can have some happiness uh, around Christmas time. And with every book he sorted through, he did just that. I feel real good that I can help out. Because he says every kid deserves something under the tree.